Hey everyone, it's Amy here again from Winter Craft Studios, um, and we are going to do another pumpkin today. I figured today we could do one that was more pinks and purples, because we did our blue and we have our orange. Um, just trying to get this Halloween stuff done before Halloween. Um, so what we are using today is the Deco Art Fluid Art Ready to Pour Acrylic Paint. That's going to be our purples and our pink. And then we are also going to use that white Artist Loft Ready Mixed Pouring Paint. Um, nothing is mixed with Floetrol or water. Everything's already pre-mixed. So we're just, I guess, going to go ahead and get started here and, and see what we get. So I have my Red Solo cup ready to go, ready to fill up with paint. So um, let's go ahead and do this and then we uh, can, you know, reconvene and, and go from there. So let's see here. Whatever you put into your cup first is what's going to come out last. So you want to make sure that you put in your cup, um, you know, whatever, whatever you want to be the last thing that you see. All right, so I'm just going to move my paints out of the way. If you can see kind of in the cup, they're all kind of layered in there. We're just going to start from the top. You will see that some of the spots on the bottom may not be fully covered, but that's okay. We can always go back and get it. All right, so here we go. Kind of let that drip for a little bit see what happens and then um, we will come back in a few minutes and kind of see what we have um, this should be interesting considering that we had to do uh, a couple layers here so what I may do as well is grab a straw and kind of blow around the top because there seems to be a lot So we will just kind of let that sit and uh, see what happens. We will be back in a few minutes. As I'm looking at this, I don't think that we are going to have enough paint to cover the canvas. So I'm debating putting one more layer of paint on. So honestly, it's a little white for me anyway. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna see if I can't grab a little bit of pink um, that I have left over. All right, let's add this little bit of extra paint and then I think we'll definitely have enough for our canvas. And I think it'll help a little bit with the coloring of the pumpkin as well. Kind of make it a little A little bit brighter. We can still blow out the top like we did before, you know. I think I'm 
liking this a little better now. Um, very curious to hear what you all think. See if you feel the same way I do. Or not. Also debating if maybe I should just use the straw on the rest of the pumpkin or kind of let it drip. I'm not sure how I feel. I think I'm just going to let it drip. So we'll come back in a few minutes and we will see how this is doing. Usually takes about five minutes or so of dripping to kind of make sure that everything has done what it needs to do. So then we'll come back. All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna move this off the canvas now. Um, let's take a look at kind of what we have here. Oh, I'm just gonna move it faster than I thought though because falling into my hand. All right, so we will go back and see that. I don't think, however, that there is gonna be enough paint on this canvas. So um, I'm gonna put a little bit of white on the outside here, and then we'll kind of tilt a little bit and see what happens, okay? This is just gonna kind of help the paint along when we tilt it, um, make the canvas a little bit more wet, and it should help the, the paint kind of move. Go ahead and give this a shot and see if we have enough paint. Well, this is definitely interesting. I don't know that I've really ever had anything kind of come out like this. So this is definitely new for me. It'll be interesting to see what you guys think about it. don't really know if we're going to have enough paint, but give it a shot, see what we get, you know? It's all you can do. It's kind of a rookie mistake to not have enough paint, but um, like I said, we'll see. It's kind of a weird consistency too, because I used a couple different kinds of paint in here. So not everything is the same, kind of what I expected the consistency to be like. Okay. So this is what we got. And actually turned out 
much better than I thought it was going to. I was a little worried there for a second. Um, but I think it came out really well. So now I'm just kind of fixing up the corners a little bit, making sure that everything's covered. And then once we're done here, I will walk around the canvas and just make sure that all of the sides are covered. The only other thing that I need to do right now is I am going to take a blowtorch to it. And this is just going to get out any bubbles that's in the paint. You don't want to sit too long in any one spot. It will burn. And you do not want to burn your piece. So in theory, these bubbles will work themselves out. Um, but there are a few in here that I can see. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do this layer and then I'm going to come back in a few minutes and I'm going to do it again because that way anything that's come closer to the surface is kind of a little more accessible. So this is our painting. Now let me see if I can grab our pumpkin or if it's going to give me a hard time here. Okay, Ooh, pumpkin is dripping. So you know what? I will do a follow-up video once this has dried. Um, and then I will show everyone the, the finished products. Okay? So that's what we have. And um, I will see you all for the follow-up. Hey everybody, we are back with Winter's Crafts Studio. And I just wanted to bring you in for a close-up on the pumpkin and the canvas now that they are dry. So here's our canvas. I think it came out pretty cool. Um, so here's the top left-hand corner. Yeah, I'm trying to get my shadow on here. Top right-hand corner. Did some cool stuff in there. Bottom right-hand corner. As you can see, there's a little bit of cracking here, um, which just means that I will probably seal it with some resin instead of just a spray. Bottom left-hand corner, there's some cool cell action that happened over there. Kind of like this area too, it's pretty neat. Um, and then here is the center. So, I think that came out pretty cool. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and show you the pumpkin here. Here is our pumpkin. Um, I'm just going to kind of spin it around on the wax paper a little bit. Did some, had some pretty cool reactions there. And the top wasn't too, too bad. I thought it was going to be a little more purple, but it's not. Um, and I'm going to go back in on the stem here and probably do some dry brushing with some brown and some black. Um, I made the mistake of turning it purple while well, trying to pick it up. So anyway, that's what we have. I hope you liked it. Please remember to hit subscribe to my channel. Leave me a comment. Let me know what else you want to have me paint. What kind of color do you want to use? Um, kind of anything, any suggestions you have for me are greatly appreciated. Thanks very much guys and I hope you have a great day. Bye!